Hey, what's up, everybody? Cedric and Cedric here. CR Wrestling Commentary on New Japan Pro Wrestling G1 Climax 34 Day 11. And we're going to just jump right on into this. So uh, it's A Block action today. It's Callum Newman versus Great O'Conn. And I wanted to skip the match, but Cedric thinks that he will be defeated very easily. Uh, Callum Newman, that is. And I'm sitting here like, I, I just don't care for a Newman match. I want to see Great O'Conn wrestle, but I, I just don't care for Callum and I was wrong Cedra thinks Okan should beat him easily but you know uh, in my ad as easily as Cobb beat Hinari which wasn't completely easy but she said maybe even easier than Cobb beat Hinari and I'm like and I asked her what makes you think Cobb beat Hinari easily what was your answer oh I think it's at the end Hinari was laid out like he just across the, the desert and uh, Cobb looked like he was still fresh. And that wasn't exactly one of their best matches. It, it it really wasn't. There was a lot you could see through. They were very gentle with each other. But, yeah. And so I said, we'll watch to see it then. It didn't take long, about, what, 30 seconds to a minute? It was longer than that because the, the first exchange, the thir- first 30 seconds to a minute was them running around back and forth. That's a Callum spot. Yeah, and then O'Kine got him down. There's a really good submission hole that took him a long time to get out of. Then it was back to some Callum shit, and I was like, all right, I'm done. Cedra chose to skip, and she says she's tired of seeing this BS. I was like, finally. So Great O'Kine won with the complete shot, comboed into the Iron Claw Slam. That's called the Dominator, so all right. That's, that's what happened with that match. Yeah. Then we get another A block. We, it's all A block. So we got Gabe, Gabe Kidd versus Jake Lee. And I'm thinking this, you know, in the faction, but this might have something to it. And good grief. First of all, the crowd was live for this. Yeah. Lee yes, came well. Lee came to the ring. He had some friendly beers. Yeah. No foam. So they were flat. They were flat beers. Um, Kid kicks him off the apron and and beats him down and uses a chair. Bell ain't even rang yet, so it's, it's, it's quote-unquote legal because it's not during the match. Lee fights back using a chair, and they fight up to the fans, and the fans are loving it. Yes. They are all about it, and Lee is just, I mean, he's basking in this stuff. He is. They fight back to ringside where Lee sets a table up and slams Kid's head into it. And then they finally get into the ring. Uh, there's a spear from Kid, and then the bell rings. It's a two count. And yeah, if it was a three count, that would have been the quickest G1 match. Yeah. Because it would have been ding, 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 ding. It would have been right <laughs> back to back. Um, Lee hit a nice choke slam where Kid bounced. Yeah. And that was for a two count. They fought outside where the count was high. Kid rushed Lee, missing the kick, messed himself up on 19. Lee enters the ring. Kid's counted out. Jake Lee wins via count out. And that fit with Gabe Kidd's, you know, personality. Motif, yeah. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was thinking motif. I was like, does that, does that fit for this motif? You know, I, when I think motif, I think like, you know, decoration. <laughs> you can have your own individual motif, and Gabe's motif is to do a bunch of excessive fighting outside. And so, so Patar. Yes, hoisted by his own Patar. Yes. So next we get a block. Zack Zaber Jr. versus Evil. The match starts with Evil pulling Jr. to the ring in a headlock. Mm-hmm. Togo throws powder into the eyes of Zack. They hit Magic Killer. Evil tries every type of pinning predicament he can on Zack Zaber Jr. without getting to anything Lucha Libre, and Jr. Just, he keeps kicking out. Yep. Zack counters one of Evil's pins with a with with a Rana type, a reverse Rana. Three count. We're all in shock. Yeah. Evil, evil is too. Yeah, <laughs> evil is too. And you can tell the crowd was kind of like, did that happen? Yeah. And they're like, that happened. And the crowd, evil, he starts chasing Zach through the fans. The fans are having a fun time laughing and cheering. They want Zach to get away. Yeah. Because Zach ran up into the crowd, out down through the walkway, back through another entrance into the crowd. And they were chasing the whole time. Yep. Evil and Dick. I, evil Dick. 
Dick Evil. So Zach, I wrote, yeah, Zach plays cat and mouse, and then he got the Union Jack from a fan. He waved it at Evil, who kept on the chase. That lets y'all know. That lets y'all know the next next matches are not going to be short. Mm-mm. But man, that had to be the fastest Evil ever got beat in the G One. Yep. No one is more deserving. Yeah, <laughs> you can tell Zach was like that. Really happened? <laughs> hey, it happened. Now, now I got the now I got the pick now on. I got the, yeah, now I got the boast. He still had powder on his face. Yep, and the whole time he was trying to get the powder out of his eyes. Mm-hmm. Um, we get a block action. Shota Umino versus Tetsuya Naito, and Umino and Naito, you know they, it, I think it was an okay match. I would say okay, yeah. It was an okay match. I would give it three stars. They did what they should. It was not, really good, not, but they did what they should. Naito put Umino over. See, that's what I wrote. Uh, I wrote Umino had Naito's number many times, but Naito used the setup for Destino to go into a small package instead, and he got the pin. Mm-hmm. And I wrote, he put Umino, Umino over so much, maybe too much. Yeah. You know, it's, it's it's questionable. Maybe he did too much. It's, like, it's to the point where it's like Naito wasn't really Naito. Yeah, and but Umino was doing every. He was hitting him with every high powered move you could imagine. But Naito got him in this submission hole, the one he does with his legs, and he lays it around their neck. And yeah, leg lace crucifix. Yeah, and he was just. He had Umino in that for so long. It had to been like two or three minutes. And Naito was just chilling, like, at one point, like, he was talking to one of the people at ringside for a second. He was chilling. Na- Naito is very antagonistic. He's a, he's, a, he's a jerk. Yeah. He rolled onto his side like a cat, like, ah. I mean, Umino looked like he could barely breathe. <laughs> Naito was relaxing. Yeah. And I, I don't know. I mean, the match went the way kind of it should in terms of who won. But you got to see a lot that Umino could do. Maybe yeah. that's what that was. Maybe. So next we get uh, the the main event, A Block, Sonata versus Shingo Takagi. And um, this was a very long match. But man, can they carry a match. Yeah. Problem. Problem. Shingo made sure... You could see he didn't show up. That most of his match, because he, he just gave up so much offense. He didn't look impactful or quick. Mm-mm. He didn't look strong. He just did not look like the Takagi that we were used to seeing. Yeah. And it, it was kind of bugging me, and it made me lose interest. Cause I was like, well, if you're going to lose, look like you should have won. But, but then the last, what, seven minutes? Yeah, they both kicked it in the high gear. I didn't feel like Sonata showed up either. Sonata was doing Sonata stuff, but he just wasn't. There was no oomph. Yeah. He, it's like he was going through the paces. Yeah, just going through the motion. And to be honest, for, for for a good number of these matches, I feel like Sonata's kind of been going through the paces. Yeah. Naito looks almost the same way. Actually, all the veterans look that way. While all the new ones that are graduates from being young lions, they are like trying. Yeah. You know, so maybe that's what, or maybe the fact that they're trying so much, it makes the veterans look like they're just going through the motion. I can't agree with that one because we, Naito, Takagi, Sonata, we've seen it when they put both feet forward and it's awesome. Is they, only, maybe some injuries, maybe the office has done something and they're just not happy and they're showing it or something? It could or, be. I don't know. And Naito's been struggling this whole time and opting for these past two matches to do clever pins more so than finish her into a pin. Which is it's like they're trying to find something new, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Sonata, he won with a DDT. I mean, go figure. Yeah. The... Because he DDT'd him at the end. I was like, all right, three. Huh? Yeah, surprised. 
It was a good DDT. Yeah, it was. It was very good. <laughs> um, yeah, it was. It was weird. Yeah, just it, it'd be like you watch AEW, someone get pinned after an arm drag. It was just weird. Yeah, you're so not used to it. Back back in the day, and literally like 15 years ago, you hit a DDT. It's like okay, that's it. You know, that, and they kick out. You'd be like, okay, was this for a belt? But now, when you see a DDT and he gets a pin, it's like, wait, that, that, that happened? Yeah. It's, they've re-educated us to think that you should come in and hit him with a pumice plight, a pipe, <laughs> and, then, and then, you know, just, I don't know, smack him in the head a few times like they were a zombie just to make sure they're done. <laughs> and then you shoot him in the, in the chest with a gun and be like, all right, now I might get a two count. <laughs> yeah. Uh, bring in the napalm. We got to end this match. Yep. That you know, nuke for nuke for two point nine. <laughs> I I don't know, but that that's what it seems like anyway. Yeah. So look, that's gonna do it for this Cedric Cedric for CR Wrestling commentary on New Japan Pro Wrestling's G One Climax thirty four, day eleven. And with that, I want y'all to be day ten. Huh? We're just we're just do we're just talking about day ten. No, this is day eleven. We already did day ten. Okay, so I counted wrong. Yeah, what you count wrong for? Don't be counting wrong. See, here we go. Yeah, here you, we you go. Gonna, no, no, go, go on and count. I'm going to count. Count. It. All right, shut up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I did not put that 11 up there and then put the double indigos up there. No, the double violets up there. So, you know, go on somewhere with that. Tell your outro. Mm-hmm. So, with that, I want y'all to be cool, be chill, be safe. Keep your numbers right. You keep your numbers right. Mm-hmm. I'm already going to get you. And, and, and we'll, we'll see you next time.